Hello, hello. Good morning. Sam, how are you doing today, man? Cannot complain. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Yeah. What Still is good it? Morning. Still good morning. Good <laughs> morning. It's that uh, it is hour. 1137. We're, we're a little behind schedule, but you know what? Like I told the, our guests, we'll go live when we go live, right? And so we're going live and welcome to Coastal Compass Connections. My name is Jeff West. I'm the director of the center, Coastal Compass Education and Career Resource Center at La Palmetta Mall. This is uh, Samantha Smolik. Samantha, would you introduce yourself to the viewing public? I will. Hey guys, I'm Sam. Um, I'm the site coordinator here at Coastal Compass. Um, like Jeff said, we're here at La Palmera Mall, and we are a 100% free, no catch, 100% free education and career resource center. Wait, did you say free? Uh, I don't know. Did I say it? I think I said it a couple times, but yep, we are free. 100% free. F R E. On three, we got on on, on three, we got to say free. Ready? One, two, three, free. Okay. Free. That's the that's the we are here. That's the we're delay. Free. That's the technology delay. All right. So, anyways, back to business. Yeah. So Sam, why don't you tell us what Coastal Compass does and what these connections are and let everybody know, you know, kind of why we're doing this and what they can expect from this, uh, this uh, broadcast today. Absolutely. Again, we are 100% free. We are a free education and career resource center. Um, so, you know, if you were to stop by Coastal Compass or call us for a service, uh, what we can really help you with is everything under the moon as far as education career goes, but we, we specialize in financial aid applications, apply Texas applications, getting you into school, um, GED enrollment. Um, and also as far as the career side, we, we do uh, resume building, uh, job search, um, you know, and just kind of everything that falls underneath that. So we are here for you and we are free. Free. We got to do the high five. We've been doing the high five. But let's try it one more time. Last time and we can we can okay. stop for next week. Ready on three. Ready? One, two, three. Three. Oh, I think we got it that time. Almost. I think we I think we nailed it. Um, as right. far as as far as Coastal Compass Connections goes, um, we so typically we have partners in here in our center. But since everything's kind of virtual right now and everyone's remote and at home, um, this is a way for us to connect with our partners and get their their information out as, as well as ours and just to be that valuable resource for you guys. So um, Absolutely. Well, Sam, uh, you take it from here. I'm going to go backstage. Why don't you introduce our partners? So thrilled to have Texas A&M University Kingsville on the on the connections today. They are a great partner, great people. We're doing a lot of great things with them. So why don't you take it away and I'll go backstage and I'll see you when we finish up the broadcast. Okay. I'll see you. Okay. Just like Jeff said, we have our partners from Texas A&M University Kingsville here. Um, and we are so excited to have them here. Uh, we've we've had Del Mar and we've had Coastal Bend College, but now we're getting AM Kingsville in here. So welcome you guys. Thank you for being here. Hey. Hi, thanks for having <laughs> us. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Hi, mm -hmm. we have uh, Mr. Rodney Buckwalter, and he is the director of Integrated Student Services. And we all also have Mr. Raul Cavazos, and he's the director of financial aid. So um, again, thank you guys for being here and go ahead and um, take it off. All right. Well, first of all, I'd just like to thank Coastal Compass for um, inviting us to share about uh, A&M Kingsville. If you're not familiar with our university, uh, we have a lot of great things to offer. Um, and I, we're an excellent choice um, as you kind of <laughs> look at your, your pathways there. I'm Rodney Buckwalter. I'm the Director of Integrated Student Services at A&M Kingsville. Um, my job is basically I support um, financial aid, admissions, and registrar. Um, so we have like a one-stop shop here and we have folks that answer calls that, that help walk you through that process and make sure that it's as uh, seamless and painless as possible. Um, and then I'll let uh, Raul introduce himself real quick. Uh, good morning. Uh, my name is Raul Cavazos. I am the Director of Financial Aid here at Texas A&M University Kingsville, and I oversee all uh, financial aid operations here at the university. And uh, like Rodney said, uh, we do wear many hats here. And then Rodney, like he said, he mentioned he supports of uh, the registrars, uh, provide support to the registrar's office, business office, financial aid, and um, admissions, uh, recruitment, and so forth. So that's one of the things we do here. We we uh, 
we we help we 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 try to go above and beyond to help all our students, whether it be you know if if it's a, a, a question about billing or anything like that or admissions, we uh, we we do try to help out as much as we can so that we won't have to be sending the student to different departments or offices. So um, we're, we're here to support and to answer any questions that you all may have. And uh, I'll just be listening in to uh, Mr. Buckwalter's presentation. And uh, if anybody has any questions about financial aid that Mr. Buckwalter can answer, I'll be more than glad to uh, address those questions or concerns that you all may have. Thanks, Thank Rob. you. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time uh, talking about A&M Kingsville. Again, we probably have some folks on here that aren't familiar with us. Um, so, and I, okay, I see that my screen is shared there. And let me go here. So, um, and I'm gonna go through some of these slides rather quickly, but I'd really like to highlight um, about A&M Kingsville. So A&M Kingsville, if you haven't visited our campus, we have a beautiful 250 acre campus, uh, lots of just, uh, really old um, um, uh, live oak trees, beautiful Spanish architecture. Um, we have a university farm that consists of, it's over 500 acres of land um, near the campus. Um, we are located in Kingsville, Texas, um, which is a city of about 25,000 folks, um, home of the legendary King Ranch. Um, and we're just about 40 miles outside of Corpus Christi um, to our northeast. And then um, for folks down in the valley, we're just a, a couple hour drive um, from, from uh, Brownsville or McAllen, Laredo, et cetera. I'm going to talk about five reasons that I think that uh, folks should consider becoming Havelinas. Um, academics, affordability. We have a very strong um, traditions. We have a record of success and a fantastic alumni network. So when we talk about academics, um, we have a number of world-class um, program, academic programs and degrees. Um, our student to faculty ratio is about 16 to one. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of our uh, specific programs uh, throughout the presentation here. But we recognize the value of teaching through research. And for folks that are going into certain fields, there's a lot of opportunities for, for some groundbreaking research. So um, programs of study, we have, we have uh, the College of Agriculture and Natural Resources. We have arts and sciences. We have a, a fantastic business administration uh, college, education, human performance, engineering, which we're world renowned in. And then we also have health professions. Uh, we have approximately 95 different degree programs to choose from, um, which gives us, gives you more options than any other university within the South Texas area. I'm just gonna, so I have a click here for programs of study, but I would definitely refer folks to go in to our website and um, check out all those different programs. A couple things I'd like to highlight. So throughout the presentation, just a couple did you knows. Um, our College of Agriculture and Natural Resources have several world-renowned programs. Uh, we have what's called the Citrus Center which is uh, down in the valley where we, we, we grow citrus, we um, have experiments and do research. Um, we have the Cesar Clayburg Wildlife Research Institute, um, which also has produced quite a bit of uh, uh, world-class research in wildlife. We have the King Ranch Institute for Ranch Management for, for folks that are interested in getting into um, that field. We have a fantastic program. We have a huge alumni network and I'll, I'll uh, kind of highlight some of the folks that we've had out there that have, uh, that are out managing ranches across the world. 
And then we have a veterinarian technology program, which is also um, one of our, our unique programs that uh, there's only a few like it in the, in the country. Also, did you know, um, and this is always a very popular one, the, um, the National Natural Toxins Research Center is the first and only federally funded Viper Research Center in the United States. Uh, we actually have a building that has over 450 different venomous snakes um, that folks do research on. Um, we provide global research. We provide training resources um, for folks in the field, and um, we generate different um, um, research on the toxins. Um, it's one place that uh, that I threatened to to bring my wife to, who's deathly afraid of snakes. Um, to go check out. But if that is something that you are interested in, um, that's one of the things that A&M Kingsville that has that's uh, very unique. I did not know that. That yeah. is awesome. <laughs> and I am one of those people that is definitely afraid of snakes. So yeah. I probably will not be visiting, but yeah, no, great I don't to know. <laughs> well, they, you know, they don't, they are in cages. Right. <laughs> they're, they're pretty safe with them. Okay. Um, another did you know, for our music majors out there, um, we just opened up our brand new 90,000 square foot music building um, this last semester. Um, and we have a newly designated school of music. Now, A&M Kingsville, we've, we've been a, um, a hub for music for many, many years. We're the only um, university in South Texas that has a traditional football program. So we also have had the, uh, the Havelina marching band for many, many years. So um, it's one of our, uh, one of our uh, flagship programs. And for music majors out there, if you're looking to go to a college in South Texas, this is where you need to be. Our College of Engineering, we are very well known for our engineering program. Um, we do world-renowned research. Uh, just listed some things here. The Eagle Ford Center for Research and Outreach. We have what's called the Institute for Sustainable Energy and Environment. Um, we have the now, uh, South Texas Navy Pathway Laboratory-Based Robotics. We do ecological engineering, and we also do security engineering. And one of the really cool things about our engineering program um, having taken some engineering uh, math courses in the past, um, we have fantastic student support for our engineering students. We have what's called the Havelina Engineering Student Success Center, um, and it's in-house in the engineering department. They provide um, just as much kind of support as any student could need, um, help with research and study. We have a tutor center. Um, they, they have a mentoring program for our transfer students. Um, they help students find internships um, as well as their career services. So again, it's a, I've, I've had an opportunity to visit a couple times and, and it really is a fantastic uh, support system for our engineering students. Did you know our College of Engineering has six ABT accredited programs? Uh, we are the first natural gas engineering program in the nation, and we are ranked number one in the nation for awarding Hispanic engineering graduate degrees. Did you know our nationally recognized speech language pathology program um, has an on-campus clinic that offers diagnostic and th uh, therapeutic speech, language, and hearing services while acting as a training facility for master's level speech pathologists. Um, this is another um, one of our kind of flagship programs that's uh, very unique to this campus. Um, for folks that are interested in speech um, language pathology, um, we, do, we do have a clinic here where we do work with children, um, especially our, our graduate students go in and they, and they'll, they, set up appointments, bring the students in, and, and we have a state-of-the-art lab there where they'll go through and, and, and do the work that they do. 
So that was all in reason one. Um, A&M Kingsville is affordable. Um, Washington Monthly listed A&M Kingsville as one of the top best for your best bang for your buck schools. Um, we are ranked 13th in the nation on social mobility index that which that measures the extent to which the school efficiently graduates students from low income backgrounds into promising careers. And then we are ranked seventh in the state of Texas, according to the College Affordability Guide. Um, which considers cost of attendance, family contribution, and starting salaries of graduates. And we are very proud of the success rate that we have with um, students getting, when they graduate, getting placed into careers and, and, um, and really starting out with good salaries. We do have a number of scholarships. Um, if you are looking at attending, um, you can go into uh, our website, which is called Havelina Scholarships, and I have the link there. Um, but you can get to it through different links through the website. Um, we have uh, our Transfer Excellence Scholarship. So that is automatically awarded if you have a GPA of 3.0 or higher when you transfer in from a community college. Um, and we notify folks when we do that. Um, we also, again, we also have a number of other scholarships that are for designated uh, for the colleges. You can just go in and search them. They have the deadlines there and what the requirements are as far as your application. Havelina Nation. So, um, a&M Kingsville is really unique in South Texas as far as the, the culture here. Um, we've been around for many years. Um, we've, we're, we are a traditional college experience and um, a very diverse and rich college experience. We have over 140 student organizations. Um, now, I know football, I think, um, got postponed for this fall. I believe they're looking at moving back to the spring for this year. We'll kind of, we all, I guess all the colleges are kind of waiting to see what we do on that. But it is one of the, um, if you're looking for that college, that traditional college experience, we are the only university in South Texas that offers that. Um, and Havelina Pride, if, if you come to campus at, during the semester, you're gonna see blue and gold everywhere. Um, I equate it kind of to how, like if you go to College Station, that same um, college spirit, that same kind of atmosphere. Um, we do compete in NC D Division II in all the major sports. Um, and you have an active uh, opportunity to get active at the brand new um, rec center uh, complex that we have, which is also state of the art. We have a record of success. Um, among We are among the highest starting salaries for public universities in the state of Texas for recent graduates. 86% of graduates have job placement within their field of study. So again, we're very proud of our, our success there. And then our alumni network is, is bar none. Um, you know, all our folks from back at, when we were Texas A&I University, um, up through the present, a and Kingsville. Our alumni are passionate about our university um, and um, they're very active um, with different organizations and our students. So did you know, we've got a lot of very uh, notable alumni and I'm gonna kind of move forward to some of them. In business, many uh, leaders of companies that you've heard of Valero, BF Goodrich, Exxon Charter, Page Dawson Engineers um, are all led by um, Havelinas. Bill Miller Barbecue, uh, Ballas Miller and Goldsmith Golf and Tennis, Havelinas. Um, in the entertainment re uh, area, I'm familiar with Eva Longoria, uh, Matt Hickel and David Dobrik. I think they're uh, more recent. Um, we had a guy on The Bachelor, and then we've got a YouTube personality, David Dobrik, that uh, many of you may know. 
and one of the things I'm proud of, I uh, always <laughs> like to talk about, we've got three NFL Hall of Famers. The, the Havelina football team um, has many um, Lone Star Conference championships and quite a few national championships in Division II. And so if you're a football fan, you're probably familiar with these guys, Gene Upshaw, Daryl Green, and John Randall all made it to the Hall of Fame. We've got more NFL Hall of Famers than A&M and College Station. And lots of folks that have gone on to serve our country, uh, most notably Lieutenant General Ricardo San uh, Sanchez is a Havelina. So, um, Admissions requirements, um, minimum GPA for transfer students, 2.5 for engineering, and if you're going into pre-engineering, a 2.0. And we can talk more about that. In order to apply, um, you go. It, we use the common application for, for Texas, which is the Apply Texas. Um, there is a $25 fee would need any official transcripts if you're a transfer student and um, you can take advantage of our new document upload electronic document upload to get your your information in there uh, you'll be assigned a k what we call a k number or an applicant id k00 and you can all and you can once you get that you can log in to see your status and our federal code you can get this off our website as well is 0036 Three nine. Um, we do on the spot admissions. We go around um, to different um, schools, usually throughout. I know with the um, with the COVID, we've been doing that virtually, and um, you can check our website as well for those dates and times. And if you go to, you can also look for if you are a transfer student. Um, we have guided pathways with colleges like Del Mar, Coastal Bend College, et cetera. We have all that listed on our website, so you can make sure that your your uh, your uh, college credits transfer. Also, if you're uh, a dual credit, same thing. Um, and this is um, we've already gotten past message. Or actually, we're doing our last new student orientation for the fall, um, but for coming semesters, we will. We'll have that uh, process posted on our website along with the dates. So um, that's my presentation. So what questions do we have out there? Well, first and foremost, thank you for that great presentation. You know, I couldn't have thought of a better way to get somebody motivated to, you know, go to Texas a and Kingsville. And not only with your so many national recognitions and your, you know, your state of the art mm -hmm. facilities, but I mean that notable alumni that might that might have sealed the deal for some people. So, um, hey, if you go to Texas A&M Kingsville, you may you may become famous. Who knows? That's true. <laughs> I don't know about you, Sam, but I was blown away at some of these programs. I mean, I was genuinely going, "Wow!" Like silently going, "Oh my goodness! Wow! I, wow!" You know, you know what else I heard though? I heard programs that lead to high paying jobs. Mm -hmm. and that's, you know, and that's what we always talked about in our circles. Sam and I were just talking about it the other day. You know, doing underwater basket weaving for four years and then coming out making five bucks an hour or minimum mm -hmm. wage, whatever it is, you know, but these are programs that lead to high paying jobs that are in demand. That's really interesting. Uh, Absolutely. And that's, that's what we try to promote here, you know, just at our center, you know, helping you take that next step to get to that higher paying job, whether it's through education or, you know, your career um, field, but absolutely, you know, keeping up with the theme of the, did you know, um, did you know that, Y'all's program is awesome. I mean, it really, truly, like, like Jeff said, I'm blown. I'm, you know, I'm stunned. I don't even, I'm at a loss for words. Really and truly, um, such a great, you know, so many intricacies that go into it, and um, a beautiful campus. Absolutely. Hey, Rodney, what what would you say to a student who is watching this today that didn't really know about A and M Kingsville? I mean, had heard about it, but now is really considering A and M Kingsville as a, as an educational opportunity. Uh, you know, what's the next step? I mean, obviously, the, hopefully they'll come to Coast to Compass. We'll get their FAFSA done. We'll get Applied Texas done. Uh, then what's the next step? Well, you know, wh where do they go from there? Well, I, you know, I would first thing I would definitely recommend if they if they can come out and check it out, you know, come come look at the campus, kind of see what we have to offer. 
um, because of the COVID thing, we are we do also have some uh, some virtual tours on our website, so they can kind of go in and and just kind of get a feel of what the campus is all about. You know, the main thing is, you know, we're we're proud of our academics, and I think that um, you know, looking to see and and again, give us a call. We'll we'll we're here to answer any questions they have. But look at the programs that we have and, and look to see what they want to do in their future careers. Um, because, you know, if they can, if they find a program that fits for them, you know, this is, this is, this is the place to go. And then as far as the process, go to Apply Texas, you know, get their application in, um, give us a call and, and we'll walk them through the process. Absolutely. And, um, you know, we've been getting some calls, of course, you know, for the for the applied text applications and the financial aid applications. But um, recently we've been getting calls, you know, because it's kind of at that that point where, um, you know, last minute. But are, are students still able to register and get into the fall semester at Texas A&M? Kingsville? They are. We extended our deadline to um, till August 24th. OK. Um, to to apply. So they okay. can still get in. I'm, you know, there's still a lot that they'll need to do. We need to make sure that we get transcripts, um, you know, their high school transcripts. Um, we are accepting unofficial right now okay. um, to help make the decision, but we will need the official ones um, at some point. But yeah, there's still time. Give well, us a call. Perfect. We're, we're here to help you out. That's awesome. Perfect. Well. Thank you all for being here, both of you. Um, you know, like again, keeping up with the did you know, did you know that we are so happy to have you guys as our partners and we, we truly value your partnership with us and, um, you know, that such valuable information. And, um, you know, I'm excited to um, continue these connections for however long it may, may take, but we can't wait to get you guys back here in the center, you know, and be in person and, um, have people come and visit you guys as well. So um, thank you guys for being here with us. And um, Jeff, you have any final words? Uh, I just want to, again, remind the viewing public and anyone who's watching on Facebook or watching the video after the fact, uh, it's posted on Facebook and also going to be posted on our website, coastalcompass.org. Just remind you that Texas A&M Kingsville is out here in the Coastal Bend to become a Havelina. All you have to do is come visit Coastal Compass come talk to us. We'll put you in contact with them. We'll fill out the FAFSA for you. We'll do apply Texas for you. Um, but then we'll get you kind of, you know, moving in that direction towards becoming a Havelina in the near future. Um, again, just really appreciate Rodney and Raul connecting with us today. And for all you, I appreciate everything you guys do. Uh, the service that you provide is awesome. Yeah. And then one thing I do want to add is, is that <laughs> for, for uh, merit scholarships, there is no application. So okay. just no, there's no general application for the merit scholarship. So just by applying to the university and ex being, being accepted to university, you're automatically considered for the merit scholarships, which are like our presidential and academic excellence. So uh, we do encourage students to apply early. So that's a key, you know, try to apply as soon as possible. I think the, the deadline right now for the upcoming uh, for the next academic year will be um, January 15th. But the sooner students apply, the better. FAFSA does open up October 1st for the next year, of course. And uh, one thing also, I, 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 Mr. Buckwalter may have gone into this or in, in his presentation is that we do have transfer pathways for students. So with community colleges, we, we have uh, a, a transfer pathways for Del Mar where students can just follow what courses they need to take at the community college and those courses automatically transfer over to Kingsville. So it's it's a big benefit for students because they already know what classes they need to take and they don't have to take any unnecessary courses. So uh, yeah, I mean, that's great. Thank you for having us. We enjoyed it and uh, we, hope you, we hope to be back soon. Awesome, well, we'll see you again next month. And uh, for those of you who are watching and viewing, just remember Coastal Compass is your one-stop shop to guide you to educational success uh, we're here to connect with you. Give us a call, 906-0703. And uh, Samantha, have anything else you want to add? Uh, just reminding everybody that you can still interact with us on our comments, even though the, that the video is not live anymore. Still ask them. We will get them answered between either Jeff and I or, um, you know, the A&M Kingsville staff. And I might say we were very well color coordinated today. 
We're all in our blue and white today. <laughs> so oh. maybe we're just we're just connected, I guess. That's what it is. Say. We are connected. Hey, <laughs> hey, for those of you watching out there, thanks for connecting with us, and we'll see you again next week. Oh, shit.